Mark, let's go straight in then. New signing coming through the door. Tell us a bit about it. Yeah, Sam Pearson. Obviously, he's well known here. He was here on loan last year. Did really well. Fans' favourite. He's always been on our radar because of, of where he's been playing. Um, he went in the league to Wimbledon, did really well there, and we've been tracking him ever since. And, and when we got the opportunity to, to bring him to the club, spoke to the owner, can we do it? And uh, yeah, I think it's a really good one for us. It's another one that fits with our, our recruitment plan and, and players that we think can help us, um, not just this season, but um, at any level we get to. So it's a really good signing for us, really sharp. Um, aligned with our forward players that we already have. Just to clarify then, it's permanent transfer and any idea on contracts and how long that's for? No, we're not going to disclose the length at the minute. It's just a permanent signing and um, it's just one we're really excited about. What does it do for your front line? Because you've already got a fairly attacking quartet up there anyway, so what does it do? It gives us a chance to keep it fresh. You know, you, the way we play those wide areas or the nine and the ten, um, the way that, that we try and interchange is really key and we've got a real variety there. If you take, say, Jordan Young, Dawes, Dylan Morgan, um, Youngie, I said Youngie and I, uh, Frank, you know, Jordan Stevens to come back, it gives us a real freshness where we can, Saturday, Tuesday, we can, you know, we can change things about. Given that you've added an extra to the squad, is there going to be any outgoings, do you think, or is this pretty much your settled team now? Well, we've got a small squad. We haven't got a massive squad, you know, like, um, we've got, I think for Saturday, we've got 16 players available. So, you know, um, we don't really want to lose too many at the minute. Straight into the squad, though, for this weekend? Hopefully, go straight in, yeah. So, in terms of then looking at how you're, you're faring, you just had a weekend off, which is a fairly, fairly rare thing at this level. Mm. How have you found it? Did you have a break yourself? Did the players have a few days away? Yeah, we gave the players a, a, a break. To, to get their legs back. Didn't want them to think anything about football. Just want them to switch off and go and recharge, um, which uh, they did. Um, you know, really good time for them, I think, um, to, to go and have a break. And they've come back really refreshed, a f really good full week's training for us in preparation for for a home game on Saturday. So you've noticed a big difference in how they're faring? The I just think mentally. You know, they had a really tough schedule, busy schedule, the pressure to win every week. Um, and, and the bonus was we went to Taunton and won, which meant that break was even sweeter for them. This weekend, Hamill coming to Hewish. What do you know about them as a club? I know that they beat us in the first game and really enjoyed their victory, which, um, which we remember. And um, they got some good players. They've got one of the best players that I've, I've ever coached in George Williams. Terrific talent, um, to be set with injuries at a crucial time. Um, but like I say every week, they, they have threats, but we have to do what we do. We respect them fully, do our homework. But I know that if we do what we do, we have a big chance to win the game. In terms of how Hughes Park is looking at the moment, it's had a nice break in, in terms of the pitch, so I'm mm. guessing it's looking pretty good at the moment. I don't know, it's under covers at the minute, mate. So, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's needed a rest. The grounds were blessings. had loads, loads of games on it. Uh, we had loads of rain. The, uh, the, the, the bath game it was really soft. Um, but we're hoping uh, it will be, uh, be really good on, on Saturday. And looking ahead to the rest of the month, we've actually not got as many schedules as another time we're playing catch-up. How key will that be to making sure that everyone's got fresh legs? Of course, yeah. The, the more time we get between games, it gives us a chance to prepare um, on the training ground and make sure we're spot on in every game. And um, so far, so good. I know I've asked you this question before, but uh, you've got that nice cushion at the top of the league at yeah. the moment. How key is it to keep that gap? If I'm being really honest, we don't talk about that. We just talk about the next game. Now, so far, the season has been magnificent. Everybody in the club, everybody involved top to bottom the supporters have been magnificent now we've got 20 games left we need one final final big push from everyone and, and the supporters have got a massive part to play to get behind the players now it's like I think everybody turns up now to Jewish Park expecting us expecting us to win um, but sometimes it's going to be difficult and, and they've I don't think they realise how important they are to the players and 
let's get behind the boys from the start and keep behind them for for ninety five minutes and you know let's not wait let's 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 make sure we're right behind the team. I've just had a nice chat with Jay. Obviously, he came back from a horrific injury at the start of this season. How impressed have you been with his input into the team over the past month? Very impressed. He's another one that like we've got a really good age to our squad in terms of the average age and the varying ages we've got. Certainly what we're trying to do is build a squad that's not just really good for now, but it's really good for the years to come. And and we've got a lot of longevity in, in people like Jay. Um, and that's the way we're trying to build the squad. You know, more of a data-based way of recruitment with, a, with location in mind. So I've been... Jay fits perfectly into that. He can play in numerous positions. Um, he's got competition at left backs. We've got a really, really good left back in, in Whittle. But Jay can play left midfield, he can play left centre back. So, great signing for him. Well, good luck for Saturday. Thank you.